Hi guys, it's Shantin here, and welcome to Life in the Woods Renaissance, Fedrin's wonderful mob pack. Mod pack, not mob pack. And where am I? Well, at the risk of seeming very ordinary, I'm in an Ewok house in a tree. <laughs> I love views. And I happen to be in a very, very lovely biome. Um, I have got wonderful red mushrooms there. I'm overlooking a mystic grove. And I wanted to show you that I have decided on a terraced garden. I don't know if you can see it's all still loading in over there. This game takes time to load in. But it is loading in, and I have had to expand my chest enormously. I am collecting these wonderful uh, tree orchids for ornamentation. Also, a friend of mine, Dorg, has told me that this Spanish moss makes pieces of string, which is a fantastic discovery and has taken saved me a lot of time. Like Fedrum, I'm collecting vines and plants and saplings and everything. However, I did want to just show you my garden setup. I have a trap here, which is brilliant. It's not got anything in at the moment, um, but it is catching a lot. I've got a fish trap, but I'm having a slight problem with fish bait. I'm going to have to go fishing. And one thing I have discovered about this wonderful mystic grove is that both above and underground it spawns so many witches. Um, I have a mine underground which runs deep under here and actually I think I can get to my mine through the other side but I had three beacons going up of white light where I died three times in quick succession all to witches. I had this very nice hillside here so I have decided that I'm going to have a terraced garden and it works amazingly well. Once I had worked out that you can only till soil in um, life in the woods if you have it well irrigated. I couldn't understand why everyone was irrigating their soil so much but now I know. Um, then it's grown very well so I have quite a few crops here already. I have a little path going up here. Um, I think this is the limit of how high it goes, because I think the backdrop of the trees is rather nice. Um, I have moved my apple tree, so I've got to wait for it to grow again, which I hope it will. I am looking for other trees at the moment. This is a hole in the ground, a very, very large hole in the ground, which is actually becoming like a second entrance to a mine. There's a lot of stuff down there, both good and bad and it goes a long way and it branches and branches and branches. I'm trying to grow more wood here. I've planted some ordinary saplings in the hope that they will grow. And over here, what I don't have at the moment is any sort of beehive. But what I have over here is little wheat farm coming up and I'm going to try and grow some willow trees. Those are planted far too close together. What do I think I'm doing here? Um, I think that one doesn't need to be there. I think a couple of spaces away would be good. Let's put it in there. Just give it a chance. Um, because I have a big willow grove at the back here. Um, look at all these herb gardens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven herb gardens. Absolutely wonderful. And then round the back here we have this wonderful willow grove with all the different vines and these gorgeous tall oaks. It's so nice around here. Anyway, there were so many biomes and there's one I'm going to spend the next uh, video exploring, if you guys something to look forward to, um, that I thought that I would actually settle in here for a while. Fortunately, I don't have crickets or centipedes uh, and this biome not a screenshot, is woodland, just plain woodland. So I'm trying that. 
So this is this side of the river. I'm going to build my tree oops, my tree house all the way around so that I've got views right the way around this area. And over here I have a bamboo farm, which is working particularly well. Um, I was thinking of building a fishing shack down here, but there is this exquisite willow tree. And I think I'm going to swap the gravel out um, and put soil there, but I actually have done so much terraforming um, across the bay with the garden and the terracing that I have had to go mining for soil. This is a common problem with me. I'm always mining for soil wherever I am. So can you see I've already got a beautiful willow tree there as well. So I really do have some very, very nice areas. So around this side, I have a mine which goes all the way down to level 10 where I've just found some absolutely monster caves and those caves are full of witches and highly dangerous. And then in this area here, which looks really odd at the moment, I have this beautiful basalt, which makes this glorious dark cobblestone. This is going to be a fishing hut here, uh, underneath what is going to be my house. At the moment it's just a fishing hut. Um, I always have to come outside to go to the mine and the fishing hut, which I don't mind too much. Um, we'll see if it becomes a problem. Um, I tend to sleep through the night at the moment. Sunset there. It's, and I have this unbelievably pretty moss. It's just called flowering vines, but they have slightly larger uh, flowers on them. I've planted some on that tree there. They look absolutely gorgeous. The other thing I did want to point out is that up till now, I have always had on this log one mushroom garden. I now have two. I don't know whether these gardens proliferate. So I thought what I would do is move the um, light off the end and see if I get a third. I mean, most people pick these gardens. I just left it. And it's quite astonishing. The other thing that's odd is that this piece of earth underneath, and maybe it's because it's not open to the air, but it's not going blue like the rest of the garden. It's not even... So it, I think it's because that log is there. But again, I might leave the log but move the blue out. I mean, it's, I am always fiddling around here. I just love it. But I think that now I've managed to get myself established a bit and I have at least secured um, some ability to generate food through traps and through having a garden and through a bamboo area. Now that I can do string, which gives me the ability to make food, the bait for the traps very easily, I think I'm going to settle down here and then I'm gradually going to do expeditions north. We've come from the south, so we don't need to go south. But if I go north, west and east from here, I thought that you guys might enjoy uh, going on a few expeditions and on that note, I am going to say good night as I bed down for the night and watch the sunset over my magic grove. Bye!